<laughs> Hi, everybody. Just very, very quickly, but um, since I have a little one up here, too, who was looking forward to coming up to the front, even though you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> just a few things really quick. I'm Trisha Shimamura. I'm from the Manhattan Borough President's Office, Mark Levine. He sends his very, very best to everybody here, particularly thinking about Barry and Judy, of course, at this time. Um, he's out doing still a million events that are, that are not being stopped from the rain and um, wishes you all well. I want to say a very special thank you to the 19th Precinct. You guys have been extremely responsive. I've told you this uh, in the back of yet, you're not going to be in the front row, but uh, Detective Lombardi, everybody on your team has just been wonderful, particularly in uh, these last few weeks. And we just have a lot of requests coming in for extra detail, extra looks for attention um, on the street. We really appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Um, I want to also say hello to Will and Monica and congratulate them again on 15 years of CB8 Speaks. I don't know if that's what you guys are doing here today, but it's amazing. And we're so proud of this incredible program that is the only one of its kind. A uh, few things really quick. I'll, I'll really skip all the things you know about Barry and Judy and the Esplanade and Parks and East and Second Avenue Subway, all those good things. The council member talked about Shed the Shed, so I figured I'm just going to let you know about public restaurants. If you don't know right now, we are 93rd. Uh, out of 100 in terms of uh, city of major cities and, and public restrooms, uh, right now, let's see here, we have about 1,000 public toilets for 8.6 million residents, which is insane. Uh, if you are a young uh, parent who needs a bathroom or just a regular adult who needs a public restroom, chances are you're not going to find one anywhere close. And God only knows if it's going to be accessible or if it's going to be clean or in working use or um, any of the above. So the VP uh, thinks that this needs to be changed. She's uh, uh, sponsored legislation with Councilmember Reza Joseph, a number of pieces of legislation, just getting the ball rolling here. The first piece of the legislation that he's put out there is just in, uh, instructing the city to find one feasible location in every zip code for a public restroom. That's it. Uh, you can't believe the fights that we've had already about this. So just one uh, location in every zip code. And we're hoping to see that really move forward uh, in, in the coming months. He also put in another piece uh, of legislation saying that public that uh, public buildings like like City Hall and our building and other buildings out there should be having an ADA accessible uh, restroom, which makes all the sense in the world as well. Uh, more can be found on our website on this, but we would really appreciate your help in just kind of continuing the conversation about this. We need our council members. We need uh, our other legis legislative uh, officials to really uh, take up this mantle and, and help us push this push this forward. Um, we did, I just wanna, I'm sure Barry and Judy would talk about this if they were here, but you probably heard this year about St. Catherine's Park getting, re, uh, getting a little bit of extra love and attention. This is a good thing. Uh, Teddy and I were both on uh, our re-envisioning that meeting with Parks and with ESNA, talking about what uh, could be done in this very uh, special piece of open space uh, Teddy asked for a pool, uh, and things didn't happen, but he did ask for a pool. Um, and so I just want to give you a heads up and say that uh, that uh, uh, investment is coming to St. Catherine's Park. We're really excited about the community conversations that are going to be continuing on here. And we hope that you guys will continue to play a big role in talking about how this park should be for the next generation to come. Uh, finally, I just want to say uh, we are doing uh, some, something new on the east side. Um, and the BP has created a volunteer corps for all of those folks out there who are just interested in giving back to their community but may not know how to do so. Uh, and this volunteer corps is about 450 people strong right now, which is amazing. They've uh, put in around 200 of hours of community service. And on November 4th, which is this next coming upcoming Saturday, they're going to be putting some, uh, giving some love and attention to the East River Esplanade. Uh, so I hope that if you're interested in being a member of our board, all you got to do is go to our website, sign up, uh, come join us at the Esplanade next Saturday, or one of the other four sites that we have around the borough, help us clean it up a little bit, help us spruce it up for the fall. Uh, we'd love to have you be a part of it. And uh, if you have any other ideas for uh, opportunities that you would like some volunteers to come and show me hot and some love, we're all ears. So again, thank you for having me today and uh, looking forward to seeing you all around the neighborhood.